Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to my team guide for Everton. The, the team that every season you look at the transfers and you go, they've done really well in the transfer windows this season. I reckon they might do bits and then they're just shit again. It's a mystery to everyone. Hopefully we'll discover why today. So what do they expect? They want to play entertaining football. They want to build a new stadium in the next five years. And they want top half of the Premier League this year in a fifth round, fourth round. Okay. And then the next, second season, they want to be the best of the rest, which is that sort of seventh, eighth spot. Okay. And then the next three years after that, they're fine just being the best of the rest. So they, they know their level. Um, let's see if they've got the actual team and money to do that. No. So far, no. They've got 100 grand in wages. Not too bad at all. 10 million quid, though. That's a slight issue. Let's have a quick look at the team. Just sort of see the obvious weaknesses, if we can find any. The lack of little black stars suggests our team's potential ages and stuff is not... Yeah, there's lots of mid-20s, guys. Not an old team, but lots of at peak at the moment. So let's just get rid of the loanies. Move to under-23s. Luke, sorry. Yeah. Mo Besic. He's been around for donkeys. Um, Yannick Palassi. <laughs> that went well. Um, moving on. Sandro. Yeah. There's a lot of loanies. Okay. So we've got Jordan Pickford in goal. Massively overrated in real life. <laughs> this is, okay. Unbiased. Unbiased. I, I, I think he's overrated. I think he's an okay goalkeeper. I don't think he's as good. I don't think he... Yeah. There's others I'd rather have. But game-wise, very good goalkeeper. Um, he'll do for, for a long time. We've got Michael Keane, solid centre-back. Mason Holgate, another solid one. Um, Yeri Mina, he's the Barcelona. Yes, Barcelona ex-player. So not bad centre-backs. Seamus Coleman, still kicking around, doing bits. Solid all-rounder right-back. Leighton Baines, he's 74 years old. How, where would you play Leighton Baines? You can't play him as a fullback anymore. I would retrain him. I think I would retrain him to play more central midfield if it's possible. Thirty-four years old. I don't. You might. You might use him as an impact player on the left-hand side, but realistically, he's not. He shouldn't be getting much game time. Then we've got Lucas Digne, who's a very, very good left back going forward. Okay, defensively. Fabian Delph, you know, the classic left-back Fabian Delph. Uh, Well-rounded player. Obviously, better as a central midfielder, but can do that. His marking's not great for a fullback, but still a decent player. Morgan Schneidlin's okay. Tom Davis is a decent youngster. Got Andre Gomez, who's a bit of a beastie, is a oh, advanced playmaker. I think advanced playmaker is where I'd give him even a... Number 10 advanced playmaker. Yeah, that is... That's built for him, isn't it? Very, very good player. Only 25 years old. Filthy Gilfrey Sigerson. Still a beast. Good. Another playmaker. You could play him on a playmaker on the left. He's or inverted winger in this occasion. He's not really got the pace or acceleration for an out-and-out -out winger, I'd say. But two-footed as well. So pretty damn versatile. And he's obviously a set-piece taker. They've got a little Bernard fella. He's Brazilian, so he's you know he must be good. Um, Alex Awobi, obviously. No, it's not a bad team, actually, is it? See, again, Theo Walcott, maybe a bit past it now, maybe a couple more seasons in him. He's got decent value and he's on high wages, so maybe you could look to sell him. I think we don't have a massive amount of money, so that might be somebody we cash in on. Richarlison is a bit of a beastie, well-rounded player, inverted inside forward strikery type. Calvert-Lewin, that guy that don't really... Score that many goals, but he's a decent player and he's homegrown. Um, he came through the club ranks, didn't he? Oh, no, he came from Sheffield United. Um, but he's decent. We've got Moise Keane, who doesn't seem to play any real-life football. But in the game, he's still pretty good. Lacks some of the mentals for a pressing forward, I'd say. The decision-making's not great, which is always going to hold him back a little bit. It's not something you can really, that's really going to fire up, but still a very, very good player. Um, we've got Nias and Sink Tossen. Let's have a quick look in the reservies in the under 23s. Uh, we've got Sandro, who's a really good striker. He'd probably get into the first team, but you know, he's out on loan. 
as you do. And a couple of other players, John Joe Kenny. There's lots of players here that I think once they come back on loan, you can look to sell like Balassi and stuff. John Joe Kenny's a decent player. But uh, there's some money to be made, certainly, with a couple of these. No four or five star potential guys here, sadly. Um, okay, so what we've got, 10 million quid. I'm selling Theo Walcott, let's say 20 million, optimistic. 30 million quid, I think. <clears throat> hmm. Probably not up top. Maybe if you're going to play two up top, you might want another one. Um, I like the idea. I might try Moise Keane as a lone striker and have like Richarlison and Alex Iwobi as in inverted wings or inside forwards. I think that can always work well. You've got really good central midfield. Uh, Dinia's brilliant at left back. I, don't, I know, but this is probably sacrilege to say this to potential Everton fans, but it might be time to replace Seamus Coleman. <laughs> I know. It even hurts me. But, yes, Seamus Coleman, I think, and then maybe a centre-back option. I think we're lacking a little bit of depth. So, I think centre-back, right-back. I think the rest of it's fine. Unless you want to play two up top, there may be one more, especially if you're playing attacking wingers with two up top because you'll lose Richarlison and stuff. But not too bad. Let's have a look at the staff. Well, it's not a lot of staff, is it? Scout department's bang average. Coaching staff, I'd ask for more coaches for a start. we still got room for three, but definitely ask for more coaching. Um, if we look on the dynamics, Leighton Baines, Coleman and Sigerson. It's awkward. <laughs> um, but overview, yeah, they're not bothered. Life as an Everton footballer, just not bothered. Um, Facilities-wise, obviously we're looking to build a new stadium, so that's going to cost a lot of money. It's a tough one, though, isn't it? In a club vision to have a, in in the next five years to build a new stadium. I'm assuming if you started building it at end of year four or whatever, it would it would be fine. But it's a lot of money to build a new stadium, so. It's something you really have to take into account. You're really going to have to try and spend within your means and start saving money towards the new stadium. Obviously, they'll take out a loan for a certain chunk of it. But if it's part of your five-year plan to actually do that, that's definitely something you can't just expect the club to pump up the money. You're going to have to, you know, maybe have 100 million in the in the, in the the balance or whatever, but not too bad. So as, as with all... Everton remain a mystery because you look at their team and you go, that's not bad. Why aren't you doing better? <laughs> um, as for where they expect to finish, top half I think is realistic. I think they've got enough firepower especially to go top half. Uh, they just want to play entertaining football. So, you know, win every game 5-4, I don't know. But that, that that's if there's no like attacking or possession or counter-attacking, just entertaining footballs, nah, you don't have to worry about that. And also the benefit of them not expecting massive things in the next three or four years. That could be partly due to the fact they want to build a new stadium, so they're taking that into account. And then maybe the next club vision, your next contract might include it, you know, getting into that European spots and everything like that. Obviously, no European football, so you don't need a massive squad. The youth, the youth setup's not great, but we've got enough to do it here. And there's the age-wise, we're not too bad. We've got, obviously, Leighton Baines, Coleman... Obviously, Stecklenburg, but he's, he's a backup. I think they're the, they're the two that we need to look at. I might try and retrain him to get the best out of him. If you are an Everton fan, <laughs> I mean, sorry. If you are an Everton fan, make sure you hit the like button. <laughs> it's not going to happen, is it? Um, get involved in the comments, though. Like, let us know. You know your team a lot better. So let us know what you're doing with the team or if you're managing them, transfers you've made, all that sort of good stuff. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.